Today we have a brand new animal at the preserve. I'm gonna be feeding him, introducing him to you for the first time. The formula is looking absolutely incredible. It's nice and thick. Unveil him for all of you for the first time in three, two, one. Hi, Theo Jr. You want the bottle? There you go, buddy. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well today we have a brand new animal at the preserve. We have a brand new adorable capuchin monkey. My sister's been raising him. My sister is actually bringing him over right now. I'm going to be feeding him, introducing him to you for the first time and well that is exactly what we're going to be going to be doing today. Guys, if you want to see the most adorable little monkey that is now living here at the preserve, well guys, you are in the right place and well Hannah should be here in any minute one minute 37 seconds later okay you're pulling in and all right you'll be here in five minutes all right cool guys my sister is gonna be here in five minutes she's gonna be pulling in with Theo the monkey so before she pulls in well I'm gonna go ahead inside and make his formula well guys I'm in the kitchen right now and the little monkey is here I can hear him calling right now I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he is in the other room. He is hungry and he is ready for his meal. He's a little capuchin monkey. He is absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to share him with all of you, but we've got to make his formula now. So we've got all of the stuff to make his formula here. So since he is a monkey and monkeys are very human-like, the formula that you actually give the baby monkeys is the same thing you would give a human. Similac formula just like that. We've got Similac formula. We've got some rice cereal, which helps develop his brain function. It's really healthy. And we also have some baby food. Now, this little monkey has not gotten his teeth yet. He's not eating solid, so he is fully on the bottles. So to get started, we're going to be just making enough for one little bottle. So basically what we got going on in here is, well, we need a spoon to scoop it out. So that's what we got to do. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop some of the formula out right now. So we only need enough to make one bottle right now. So we're going to use this little cup right here. We're just going to top it off right there. So we've got one little cup right here and we're going to dump it in here right now. We're just going to take that. We're going to dump that in. And for every one part of formula that I put in, I'm actually going to be putting two parts of water. So if we put in this one part of formula, so I'm going to come here right now to the sink. I'm going to fill this up right here. Now this is completely filtered water that goes through a UV and charcoal filter. We've got one scoop right there. We got one and we have got a second. We're going to fill that up right there. One, two, three, and we've got it. Now we don't want to spill it. We don't want to spill it. Okay. We've got it in. We've mixed the water, we've mixed the formula, but we are not done yet. We've actually got to add some rice cereals. I kind of just add this to look. Now the goal for this formula is you want it to be not too thick and not too thin. You want it to be a nice creamy, silky, smooth formula so it's easy for the monkey to take down but not too watery that it could upset his stomach, give him diarrhea. So we're just going to sprinkle a little more of that rice cereal in there just like that. And we've got some baby food. So we've got some carrot baby food and we got mango, apple, and banana. If you guys have been on the channel, you will know that we were using this same kind of baby food for Rue the lemur. And now we're using it for Theo the capuchin monkey. So we're going to take our formula right here. We're going to take some of this baby food and we're just going to sprinkle just a little bit in. Now this is more than enough for one bottle. This is going to be good for probably about two feedings. So we're just going to put some of that in there just like that. And I'm going to take some of this carrot. We're going to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We're going to smell it and we're going to take it on in just like that. We're going to take just a little bit. It's kind of hard to get it in. We got it. We're going. And that seems to be like a good little amount right there. Now that we've got all of our ingredients in the formula, well, I've got to mix it up, guys. So this is a behind the scenes look on how we make the formula, how to make a strong, healthy monkey. So we've got all of our ingredients mixed in and this right here is the perfect device for actually mixing the formula. It's way better than shaking and blending. It does all the work for you. So we're just going to take this right now. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's mix it. We're going. We're mixing. Now the formula is all on the bottom. So we just want to mix it and guys, this is looking um, a little more watery, a little more than I'd actually like it to. The formula is looking absolutely incredible. It's nice and thick, just how we want it, just like that. So we're just gonna take this on out. We're gonna rinse it off just like this. And there is one last thing that we have to do. Now that this is rinsed off, well, I've gotta actually try the formula. We've gotta taste it and make sure it's edible. And guys, we're gonna try it right now in three, two, one. Absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna start here right now. We're gonna suck up our formula. This is a 35 ml syringe and that is the exact amount that we need. So it's in and I'm just gonna start slowly pulling the syringe up. 
If I pull it too fast, we're not going to get the right amount of formula. We're going to have to do this a couple of times. So the goal is to get the perfect right amount of formula. We're pulling. We're going. We're almost there. We're going. We're starting to lose some. Let's just pull it up real quick. Okay, we got about 30 mLs right here. And we're just going to take it inside of the bottle. I'm going to squirt it on in just like that. And now I'm going to take just a little bit more. We're going to take about 5 mLs just like that. We got about another 5 mLs and we're just going to squirt it just like that. And that right there looks to be the perfect amount of food. The food is made. It looks absolutely incredible. So the next thing we have to do is, well, we've got to heat it up in the microwave. All right, we're going to heat it on up for just about, I'd say about 15 seconds. So we're just going to add it right now. We're going to put it for one minute and wait till it gets to 45. And it should be nice and warm. Let's see, we're gonna stir it, we're gonna feel it, and yeah guys, this is the perfect temperature. So now that we've got our bottle nice and heated up, well, we've gotta screw it on just like this. We've got it screwed on. So now the moment all of you have been waiting for, I'm gonna go get Theo the Capuchin. I can hear him screaming for his food. He is starving, and guys, I can't wait to show him to all of you. Guys, we're here in my living room, and Theo is under here. We have him in his little carrier right here, and I'm gonna unveil him for all of you for the first time in three, two, one. Hi, Theo Jr. How you doing, buddy? Guys, this is Theo, the little capuchin monkey. My sister's been bottle raising him, taking care of him, but once he's a little bit older, Theo is gonna be living here on my preserve. We're gonna be getting him a gorgeous girlfriend in time. Theo, come here, buddy. Come on your blanket. So capuchin monkeys actually live on their mom's back for about the first year of their life. So they like to cling to stuffed animals. Theo is absolutely adorable. You want your bottle, buddy? You want it? Yeah? You want the bottle, don't you? Yes, you do. Theo. So unlike the lemurs, the capuchin monkeys are extremely intelligent. The capuchin monkeys are one of the smartest monkeys on the planet and they never cease to amaze me. Look at his adorable face full of personality, full of intelligence, and now it is time to feed him. Theo, you ready for your bottle, buddy? Are you ready for your little bottle right now? So Theo, I'm sure as soon as he sees his bottle, is going to go crazy. Theo knows the drill. He knows the bottle's ready for him. So we don't want him to drink too fast. We're gonna let him drink, 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 drink. And then I gotta put, hey, Theo, Theo, oh my good, Theo is a savage. Theo, we don't wanna choke on the bottle. We want to drink it nice and slow and be nice and consistent with it. That's so yummy, such yummy good stuff. Now, Lily, Theo, 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 okay, okay, Theo wants his bottle. Theo's being a little crazy. Theo is absolutely starving right now, but if he drinks too fast, he could potentially aspirate. We don't want that at all. So we're actually just gotta give him little tiny breaks. And that is so good. Theo, you want the bottle? Theo has gotten to be so incredibly agile. He'll jump for his bottle. He wants it, you want it? You want the bottle? There you go, buddy. And in time, Theo will actually be able to actually hold the bottle, which is super cool to see him actually holding the bottle. Look how adorable he is. Look at this little monkey kid right here. Drink, 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 drink. You're almost done, kid. You're almost done, little man. That's some yummy good stuff right there, right? Right, buddy? Right? There you go, Theo Jr. There you go, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. There's no more, buddy. I think that's it. I think you drank it all. And I think that's it, Mr. Theo Jr. You can hold the bottle if you want it. Theo, do you know that there's nothing left on the bottle? I think we drank all of our food. We drank it all. So Theo is just starting to get some of his uh, bigger teeth in. So soon enough, he'll actually be eating solid Theo, the bottle is gone. We don't, we don't have any more food. You drank it all. You are such a big, strong monkey boy. You are so cute, buddy. You are just so incredibly adorable. Raising capuchin monkeys has been a lot of fun for me. I've raised several in the past, and then this is another one that my sister has been raising, and it's gonna be living here on the preserve. He's so incredibly adorable, and now that we gave him his meal, well, Theo, do you need a diaper change? <laughs> oh my gosh, Theo. Theo, did you poop? So Theo is actually a Brazilian tufted capuchin. So he is a new world monkey from South America. Now he was captively born here in the United States, but one really cool thing about new world monkeys versus old world monkeys is a lot of new world monkeys actually have a fully prehensile tail. And what that means is Theo can actually hang his full body weight by his tail. He can use his tail to grab branches, grab objects, you can see he's grabbing my finger and he is just totally infatuated with everything right now. Theo, you had a poopy man. You, we gotta change your diaper now. You're looking at the camera? You wanna look at the camera and reach out? Yeah? Okay, buddy. So we're gonna put Theo down. 
Theo had a little poop. So we have actually got to get a diaper. I actually don't have any on me. So yeah, I got to go get that. I've got a fresh clean diaper and it is time to give Theo his diaper change. Theo, come right here, buddy. Come right here, mister. You're gonna come right there for me, sir. And we're gonna actually take your little diaper off. So we use preemie diapers for the little capuchin monkeys and other smaller primates. So we're just gonna open this diaper on up. I'm gonna have a wipe ready because I definitely smelt some poop in there. And oh my goodness, I was definitely right, guys. Look at that. There's a black sludge ball of poop right here. Look at that, we're just gonna clean his little butt off. You can have your little wipe container. And guys, look at this right here. This is a healthy little capuchin monkey poop. It's black, it's solid, it's not runny and mucusy, and that is how you know you have a healthy poop. And guys, of course we gotta smell it and make sure it smells all right. Let's see. I really don't wanna do this, but... Oh, wait, wait. Theo, you did so good for your diaper chain, so we're actually gonna just wipe Theo down. Now, one of the main reasons why we do diaper Theo is for his hygiene, so he's not pooping inside of his carrier, so he's not pooping and peeing all over himself, spreading germs, spreading bacteria. So we've cleaned him off. He looks to be nice and good down there. It doesn't look like there's any more poop. So to actually get the diaper on, we actually cut a little hole right here for his tail to slip through. So while Theo is playing with the wipe container, we're just gonna take his little crazy tail right here and we're just gonna insert it on in the diaper just like that. And we're just gonna slide it on just like this. Theo has the diaper slid on. And now we're just gonna tuck the bottom end right underneath him just like this. Hi, Theo Jr. Hi, buddy. You're having a diaper change. You're getting your diaper changed, okay, buddy? So Theo is pretty active. No, 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 that's a dirty diaper. You can't touch that, buddy. So Theo is getting his diaper changed right now, but he's quite active when he gets it, so it's a little bit tricky. You gotta be really quick with it. All right, Theo, I've got you right there. We're just gonna take this just like that, and I'm gonna put it right there. Theo, we're almost done. I've almost got you. All right, we've got another strap just like this, and look at that, we've got the diaper on Theo the monkey. Guys, over the years I've become quite an expert at actually getting monkey diapers on. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, mister? What are you doing, crazy boy? What are you going, man? What are you doing? You're so cute. Theo's got his diaper on. Come here, buddy. Let's go to your stuffed animal. Let's go to your little blankie. And we actually want to tuck the diaper in up on the front side just like this. This is how you get a nice monkey diaper on. It looks absolutely amazing. Theo, you're doing well. And you know what you get for behaving so good, buddy? You're going to get a special wipe. One of Theo's favorite things to play with is actually a wipe. No, 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 you can't have the bottle. Theo, look, we have a wipe right here. Theo, your favorite thing in the world, a wipe. You want to play with it? You wanna play with the wipe? You wanna smell the wipe? Do you wanna catch the wipe? Oh, you almost got it. We're training this monkey in karate right now, so we gotta get him to stand up. Here you go, buddy. There you go, here's your wipe. There's your favorite wipe. We're just gonna wipe you down. We're gonna make sure you are nice and clean. Theo loves to eat wipes. He loves the taste of them. Guys, I don't, I don't really like the taste of wipes. I don't, I, I don't know why he does. Theo, you wanna say hi to the camera? Look at that. So one of my favorite things about capuchin monkeys is how smart and curious they are. With everything from cell phones to cameras, they just wanna jump on it, they wanna explore it, they wanna investigate it, see what it's all about. And guys, look at this. With bigger capuchin monkeys, they'll actually scroll on your phone. So Theo, look at this. Look at the phone, man. Theo, right here. Look at the phone. Here, go to the phone and, and, and check it out. Look, do you wanna see yourself, buddy? Here, look. Look, Theo. Look, you can see yourself right here. Look. Theo, look at yourself. Look at yourself, Mr. Theo Jr. Theo, look at yourself. Come here, you sweet monkey boy. You're chewing on a shoelace, aren't you, buddy? So that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's introduction to Theo the Capuchin Monkey. Guys, I can't wait for him to grow up here on the preserve. I can't wait for you guys to watch him grow up into the crazy monkey man he is going to be. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of Theo the Monkey. And guys, if you want to see Theo grow up, well, make sure you go right now. Hit that subscribe button on my channel and my sister's channel is linked down below. She's the one that's going to be raising him and it's going to have a lot of content on him. So guys, if you want to see this monkey grow up again, hit that subscribe button to both mine and my sister's channel right down below. And I'll be sure to see all of you guys in the next video.